need more stuff than guys do. <laughs> she probably would be mad at me if she knew I was showing this. <laughs> There's one of her cats. Uh, that's she's a she's a sweet cat. Her name is Edith. And this is the cat's room. Uh, you can see they have two little robots there. And yeah, this is just the cat room. There's another full bathroom that we're getting ready to walk into. This is just a bathroom that really just never gets used. Um, so, um, yeah, that's that. And then this room. When I first met her, she had so many clothes that I had to make this room into just a closet. Because, look at that. It's just, it's like ridiculous and those are like shoe boxes. I have like three pairs of shoes. But again, we're her and I are just very, very different. So it's extreme and um yeah, not not what I would do, but again I know women are different. <laughs> and not all women are like that, I suppose. Um and now I'm gonna walk you out to the garage. This is where you come in from the garage. This is my prized possession. This is my Toyota Land Cruiser. I don't drive it very often, but um, I just, it's its the one, I feel like it's the one kind of selfish thing I've done is that I have that. Even though I don't need it, it's because they don't make them anymore for the American market. And this was the last year they ever made them. And I worked for Toyota for 20 years and it, it was always my favorite. I just loved it so much. So that's every now and then I will drive it. Maybe not the last time I drove it was Thanksgiving, but I did drive it down the road just at the end of maybe like a week ago just to start it up and drive it and not let the tires get flat spots on them. But yeah, it's it's you know, some kind of have supercars and like fast cars. I don't I I'm too safe to drive fast, so I just like that. I just, I really like it. So, and then as I walk outside here, I'm gonna take you to the barn. That's the car I drive every day. That's a Toyota Venza. And um, it's an all-wheel drive, but it's a hybrid, so it gets 40 miles a gallon. The Land Cruiser only gets 13 miles a gallon. That's another reason why I don't like to drive it. This is the tack room for the barn. That is a real plant, believe it or not. That I got that when my uncle died. No one would take it and they were just gonna throw it away, but I thought, no, I can, I'll keep it alive. So I'm getting horse treats right now, so I've got to lure the horse in so I can show him to you because he's out in the pasture right now. But I'm gonna call him in and so I, I don't have the, I'm obviously recording this whisper, I'm not, this isn't the sound that was, I'm not whispering as I'm walking through my house showing you this, but right now I'm calling his name, I'm saying, hey Biggie, you can see the construction workers building that house behind me, the guys out there, even though it's cold and in the snow, it definitely makes me grateful for, um, not having to be outside in the cold to work today. And I respect men that are out there working hard and doing dangerous jobs. I mean, you can see I'm dangling the cookie for him. As we wait for him to come get that, um, one thing I wanted to tie into this video was the fact that so many people tell, are today are giving the financial advice that you should not buy a house. But I disagree.
buy 200 to be because I want to give the people who say don't buy a house, I want to give them every benefit of the doubt. So that's $489,000. Let's let's just use the number 700. I wouldn't sell it for 700. I, I would probably sell it for 750, but let's just use the 700 number. So 700 minus 489. Let's just go ahead and round that up to 500,000. Let's give the other side, all this extra padding, so that's $200,000 now, and I don't, I own my home, so I, I don't now, I don't pay anything except for my electric bill and my property taxes and homeowner's insurance, but if you're renting, you're still paying an electric bill, you're not paying property taxes, but you're paying rent, and that money is just gone. So let's say you're paying a thousand dollars a month. It's gone. You'll never see it again. It never went to no. It never went for you anything. You've lived for thirty days, and it's gone. But if you, and, but the landlord, he's getting his house paid for with that payment. So it's just that. That's just one aspect of the equity that I've made other side of it is a personal reason. Like for me, I feel like it's like a company. A company doesn't just like exist online. Some do. There's like internet companies, but most companies, most reputable companies have like a headquarters. You look at the Apple headquarters out in California. If you've never seen it, look it up online. It is an amazing building. It looks like a spaceship. Um, but they have a headquarters like Apple where they exist. They have an address and that's what I feel like is another big positive aspect of owning a home is making it a place you like to be and in a, in a place you're comfortable, a place you can plot and plan your, your future and all your plans for life. It's where you can really think about things and like turn the TV off, turn the computer off, just sit and listen to yourself's mind and ask yourself, what do you want and how am I going to get it? I believe that having a headquarters is very, very important. The other thing that it does that grounds you in a society, you have a vested interest in the community. You're going to go to the same grocery store. You're going to know all the surroundings so good because you're going to have driven down every road at some point in time. You're going to want the community to be safe because it's where you live. And it, it just, it, it gives you a totally different mindset if you own it. Now, I get why these guys say don't buy anything because they don't, they don't, all they want to do is go to bars and party and drive their fast cars and go travel to all these exotic places and maybe because they have a jet and that that's the life you want by all means maybe you don't ever own anything you can be a nomad but i think the bulk of people out there want a more traditional life and i feel like it's a it's a wealth building way i mean if you think about it if, if i were to try to rent something like this i i bet it would cost around here five thousand dollars a month to rent and I, with my property taxes are like $300. Uh, it's, it's like $3,600 a year, so that's like $300 a month. My homeowner's insurance is like $1,000 a year, but let's round that up to $100 a month. So now we're at $400 a month. My electric bill some runs somewhere between $250 or so, maybe $350 if it's a real cold out. So then that's, um, that's $650, say $700.
Just when they say there's no place like home, that saying was made for. 